Hey everybody, this is Jeff Rappaport reporting for AvWeb. In the experimental world, all aircraft are unique, but some are kind of weird unique and some are really cool unique. I think the coolest airplane I saw this year was Lance Hooley and Robert Harris's home-built Jet EZ. Looks like a long EZ, but powered by a jet. Let's talk with Robert and Lance and learn a little bit more about this canard style jet home built. The airplane itself is a uh, Lance Benson is down. designed around the, the GE58 engine. It's exclusively it's not it's not a, a takeoff of another airplane. It's not a conglomeration. It looks like a long easy, but it's not. It's uh, bigger, it's longer. Obviously it's faster with the turbine engine on it. So the, the uh, structure looks the same, but it's not. It, internally, it's totally different than a, than a long ease. And it was purposely built that way. The fuselage has to be strengthened because of the stresses of the engine and the uh, speed of the, in, of the airframe itself. Yeah, speed-wise, uh, we, we're covering about five miles a minute. It, the, number, the number starts with a three in knots. Okay. Uh, landing speed is no different than a long easy. It, you come across the fence at 80 knots, slow to 75. If you're faster than that, it doesn't want to land. It'll just uh, float down the runway and bounce from tire to tire. So it's, it's very docile. The hardest part about flying the airplane is getting it slowed down. It, because if, if you're... Uh, the engine is not like a piston engine where when you push the power up in a piston engine, you got the power right now. But turbine engines don't work like that. They produce 85% of their power in the last 15% of RPM. So that's why in turbine engines, air jets in general, they're coming in with all this power on. That's so that if they push the power up, the power is there right now. So the hardest part about flying this airplane is getting your speed together, rate of descent together, and the touchdown point all at the same time with the power up in case you have to go around. Now, once the power comes up, you're going. <laughs> it's like being shot out of a slingshot. It's taken 13 years to build it. Uh, the, the problem is um, a lot of the stuff we've prototyped because of changing the structure inside the canard, the wing, the winglets with the blended winglets, we had to change all that. Robert's the expert with composite structures and the, the uh, uh, stresses are going to be involved and how we have to strengthen it because you, a lot of fiberglass, you can add glass to it, but all you're doing is increasing the weight. You didn't increase the strength. In some cases, some guys actually made the airplane weaker by adding glass. We started the airplane from just someone saying it, it'd be cool to have a jet engine on one of this, but no one would ever do it. The innovation is the biggest thing about this airplane. It, it, there's so many structural changes in the airplane that you can't you can't see them unless we point them out. Like how do you do the blended winglets? That's that's innovation of itself. That curve is critical at the base of it to get keep the airflow. So that that the have an EFAS in it with a turbine engine, engine monitor. There's no circuit breakers in the airplane. They're all digital. So the the electronics in the airplane. And it's the, the but the key thing we we're after two key goals we we're after the airplane. We made them both was to have it ridiculously easy to fly. It has to be. And it's uh, super simple from a pilot standpoint. From, a, from working on it, no, it's a complex, you pull the cover off, it's complex in there. But as far as operating the airplane, push this button, you got what you want, go. 